Hello everyone. I am doing a cleaning video and it's because I could not think of any other way to use this nail brush in a video request. Someone said they loved the sound of the nail brush, so looks like I could clean these gloves too. So I'm just trying to get creative about how to use a nail brush in a video. But most of you know me by now and I don't like to just weirdly caress items in front of the camera. <laughs> so, I have to think of a way to use it for real and that I might actually do it. And these red gloves are because I've heard several people say that they like them. So, let's kill many birds with one stone. Boy, this is really dirty. It's got rust marks on it. This thing's all rusty. So, and that's the reason I keep the plastic soap holder underneath. The other soap holder, one is for protection and the other one's for love. Spray these things here with some super duper spray cleaner. This ought to do the trick. Got some foaming bleach scrub bubbles. Spray the rest of my sink here because. I'm gonna kill many birds with one stone here. Clean the sink. Clean the gloves. Clean the soap dish. Clean my hands. Clean, clean, clean everything. Why not? the nail brush uh, to, to uh, clean a few things. But I will definitely clean the nail brush before I use it on other things. Let's start with this. holders on Amazon. I have about five of them in the house because I really hate soap sitting right on the side of the sink. This lets the water drain out of it in between the spikes. I got 
this little iron soap dish at the thrift shop. And the rust, I surmise, is the reason why somebody went ahead and gave it away. be too thorough about this because um, it's just going to rust again. Sometimes it gets on the soap, but I put up with it because I really like it. Let's take another stab at this here. It's raining out right now. You probably can't hear it. Alrighty then, let's finish up the chrome here. This uh, fixture was with the bathroom when we moved in. My house is a hundred years old, but I have never bothered to try to recreate 100 year old fixtures in the house. Furniture and decorations, yeah, but I don't have the money to try to, you know, transform the whole house. Forget about it. I just, that would overwhelm me and I do not I'd much sooner spend all my money on little trinkets like these nice smelling soap and lotion dispensers. Mm. 
I have a video from way early on. I think it's still in my playlist of where I am washing things by hand. That was difficult to do. I'm never going to get that stain off of there. I have tried over and over again, so. That was my perfunctory little stab at getting it clean. <laughs> clean is different than removing stains. I could go buy a bottle of that lime away stuff. surprised at how nice this uh, lotion and hand soap are considering how inexpensive they were. I think these little soap dishes were only three dollars on Amazon. try to wipe it or I'll get a bunch of rust on my cloth. Okay. Now I am actually going to try to clean my gloves. I noticed earlier that there stuff on it. There was like old food and different things. This is the first time I ever thought about washing my dishcloths. I suppose they can get just as grimy and dirty as your hands do. And just because you're washing dishes doesn't mean you're getting everything off of the gloves, right? them a pretty thorough rinse at the end of the session, washing dishes and such. I use these gloves quite a bit, actually, ever since I got acrylic nails. nails, any kind of false fingernails are going to lift with a lot of use with water. So I don't like to expose them to water too much except just to clean my hands every once in a while. and a lot more just lately. use the nail brush to wash my under my fingernail. Kind of wash 
washing my gloves the way I'm going to wash my hands. Um, because of all the coronavirus stuff going on lately, I saw a video where they show the proper way to wash your hands. So I'm going to try to demonstrate that. The gloves are just a bit different than flesh. <laughs> and of course, if this was not a video, I would just be far more vigorous. videos for relaxing and how I do things so gently. And I think every person's capable of doing things gently, but that truly is not my nature. I'm gentle with people, but when it comes to cleaning and chores like this, slamming cupboard doors and you're <laughs> like I'm trying to start to get it over with so I can go do something else fun so I'll just rip through the house and slam boom bang trying to get things done but this is something that I do for sure for real I I use Windex as a kind of a go over after I wash things because Windex has a ammonia in it and it it really gives a shine and a extra clean. So I use it on my stove and my refrigerator. Well, I use Windex on so many things. Let's see, I don't know if you can see how shiny that looks, but it's really pretty. Go ahead and put my soap dish back. Lotion. Okay. You see the underneath the handle there, the nail brush has some residue left from the price tags. So I'm gonna see if I can get that off with the scratchy side of the sponge. It's not wanting to come off easy. in here. Okay. 
green again. Everything I've used it on. Alright, soap this up pretty good here. Actually, I think I'll clean my soap. that you I really need to do this correctly you, you're supposed to take your brush and uh, keep it downward pointing downward because if you don't you're going to uh, just spray soap and water all over the bathroom Keep your brush down. See, on this other video I watched, they said to keep up, uh, to wash between your fingers, cuticles, and not to push too hard on your nails, and to go ahead and close your fingers and make a fist so you can wash between the folds of your knuckles. Never would have occurred to me that you could have germs in between the skin on your knuckles. <laughs> that found, sounds funny to me. The other thing too is um, for the sake of the video, I have the brush up closer to the microphone, but you really ought to keep your brush in your hands low down in the sink so that you don't splatter soap and water. It's kind of hard to do with the thumb because it just wants to point down. This is the best I can do. I ran out of water. Must have seeped up. Okay, 
more soap for the other hand. This lady that I saw washing her hands went all the way up to her elbow practically, like she was a surgeon. <laughs> Knuckles. Cuticles. caressing an object in front of the camera <laughs> but it's for real <laughs> splatters off. Don't want to clean your old bathroom and then leave soapy splatters everywhere. Alright, that looks good to me. Let's call that a clean sink and clean hands and clean gloves and clean, clean, clean everything except for this filthy rag. Let's get rid of that. There we go. That's it, folks. Thank you for joining me.